Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2020 and a half Forest River Cedar Creek Hathaway Edition 34 IK. This is a mid-sized upper class fifth wheel. We're going to take a few minutes, show you around the inside and then back to the outside of this new RV. All right, guys, we are now up inside this new Cedar Creek 34 IK fifth wheel. And as you've seen on the floor plan that was just up, this is a triple slide out rear living room model. Now, uh, this is a mid size fifth wheel. It's not the big monster ones, but it is a pretty good size unit. And this Cedar Creek brand is also a higher line of fifth wheel. At one time, it was Forest River's highest line of fifth wheel that they offered until they came out with the Riverstone. So we're going to start back here toward the rear of the coach and you will see the sofa in the back does make into a big bed so you could sleep a couple adults back here if needed. You have a theater seat that's power with a built-in USB charger directly across from your flat screen TV. Nice big windows going across the back section and on the slide out overlooking your campsite area. And this customer chose to order theirs with the optional dual pane glass windows instead of the standard single pane. But the windows are still frameless either way, depending on what you decide to do. Nice big tall ceiling height and slide out height so you don't have to worry about standing up and hitting your head. They did a really nice decorative lighting here above the island section. Ceiling fan also in the living room area. The unit has the whisper quiet air conditioning system, so you don't see the big square. You've got uh, ducted air throughout the ceiling, but it is whisper quiet, so it is a lot nicer when you're in here trying to talk or watch TV. Electric fireplace, which is basically a fancy electric heater, but uh, it's a nice little feature there so you don't have to burn through as much propane if you need to use that. Stereo system with some speakers inside and outside here. Has a USB charger port in it, HDMI port, things like that all there. Uh, again your flat screen TV there which is adjustable. Some overhead cabinetry. They redid the wall board, the ceiling board, changed the wood a hair for the 20 and a half versions. Um, countertops also changed up a little bit and you'll see the new insignia oven there much larger oven than most RVs have don't forget guys to like share and subscribe if you're interested in keeping up with more of my videos try to update as many of these new models as they kind of roll in and out of here when I get time just to kind of give you guys a little more information on them. The table there has two traditional chairs, two folding chairs, and then you also have an leaf extension on the end there. Now back over to the kitchen area here, you have again the big insignia oven, really nice feature there, four burner stove top, uh, has a built in light, 25 inch oven, so a little bit larger than your traditional RV. And you also have plenty of cabinet space here. You can see there, drawer space, cabinet space, uh, overhead cabinet space, big microwave. They do a window behind the stove there to kind of just let in some more natural light and also just kind of give you a little more uh, outdoorsy feel there. Large residential refrigerator freezer on bottom does have an ice maker also built into it there's also a shutoff valve on the outside i'll show you when we get out there for winter purposes pretty good size pantry area a lot of little led accent lighting found around the toe kick areas and up around the ceiling and stuff like that which is becoming pretty common now in most rvs um, fantastic fan with the rain sensor and uh, speed control, stuff like that. The thermostat for that is on the wall over there. 
This unit has two awnings on it. Uh, the second awning is an option. And right down here is controls for your second awning right there. Also has a wind sensor speed setting on it as well. Going up the step area, there is your central vac down below with your little dustpan vac. Electric box with some breakers and fuses. Your uh, propane leak detector. There's also some USB charger ports here. I'm going to pop this open here real quick. And now here you can see your solar panel controller here, uh, which you ordered it with. You've got a ceiling light fan switch here. Again, it has the one control anywhere connect system. So you can actually control a lot of this stuff from your app on your phone. And you also have uh, some more con um, internet connectivity stuff, things like that up here. But if you subscribe to the internet service, if you're more of a full-time or extended stay person, you can actually be, you know, out at a restaurant somewhere sitting and fire up your generator if you want. Uh, you can turn on your HVAC system here, pick which unit you want to run here for bedroom, for example, and set your temperature. So you could, you know, be sitting again somewhere else fire up your air conditioner for both units one unit whatever you want and right from your phone and actually be able to have your air your uh, camper cooled down by the time you get back there uh, so a lot of cool stuff to learn about that we'll show you that in your demonstration when you come to pick up the camper now, up here in the bathroom area really like this bathroom nice big area here You've got plenty of drawers and cabinet space in here, uh, dual kind of a faucet area there. There's also another turbo exhaust fan up there. You have heat and air conditioning both in the bathroom. And there is a one-piece fiberglass shower, a little sit-down seat, porcelain foot flush toilet, but plenty of room to get in and out of here get dressed without having to worry about stepping out into the hallway or bedroom area or something uh, so a lot of room up in here and over here you have kind of an area for towels washcloths all that type of stuff and that goes all the way down to the floor section down there so plenty of room i like the sliding door aspect of the bathroom as well uh, you don't have to worry about if you're half asleep coming and swinging the door one direction or another to kind of trip down the steps or anything like that. Another change for mid-year model change is the new front closet setup. Huge closet area up there. Uh, we'll kind of get to that as we walk our way over there. But king bed feature here this was ordered with the upgraded 10 inch uh, deluxe mattress that they have as an option standard is an eight um, but this was uh, the 10 inch upgrade that you'd ordered you have room on both sides of the bed to get around again more drawer space shelf space Flat screen TV, whisper quiet airs in here as well. USB charger ports and shelf and electric outlet on both sides of the bed too. Window on both sides of the bed. You have night roller shades up here in the bedroom area. Now they did a, as part of the uh, change for the closet area... You still have your washer dryer area, but you no longer have to stack it and take up the whole closet if you don't want to. Now that little section of shelving can come unscrewed and you can set your washer dryer in there side by side and it pushes back into the front nose. So it gives you a lot of extra closet space still. You've got a, a clothes bar goes all the way across here. There's lights in here shelving space in here it's a flush floor section in the first step part of it so you can actually walk right into the closet area a lot easier here kind of get in and out of here do what you want to do you have your king uh, wi-fi connect system over there as well 
and spin them back around here. Quite a bit of room in this bedroom. Really good size for an RV, this, this setup. Be sure to check out CouchesRVNation.com, one of the largest internet wholesale dealers in the country. We're going to take a few minutes and go back to the outside of the RV and kind of show you around out there also. And they got some pretty cool features on the outside. All right, guys, we're now back on the outside of the new Cedar Creek 34 IK. And as you can see here, we are looking at the door side of the coach. So we're going to start here on this side. Uh, standard power awning, uh, LED light strip built in, adjustable arms, all that good stuff. So that's pretty normal for an RV. Um, good length to it. Also has the optional side and rear cameras. This customer chose to order his with the side camera so you can see down both sides and also the back. Um, Six-point automatic hydraulic leveling system, stronger, faster, more reliable than the less expensive electric system used on a lot of brands. A uh, couple outdoor speakers there that you can see. There's two 30-pound propane tanks here. Uh, pretty normal for an RV this size. Now, this customer also chose to order his with the optional outside party center here. So this is a pretty cool feature. It's on a slide-out rack here, so that just pushes back into place. But the TV goes up and down. It swings around, so you can kind of angle it for your viewing pleasure. There's a little griddle that mounts here on the side, so if you want to cook outside, you can. The prep area here actually flips up, and there's some storage underneath of there. And you have a refrigerator back here, so you got a small little mini fridge for outside. Now, over here, you have storage area as well. Now, this customer chose to also do the uh, detachable uh, uh, surge protector guard there. So, that's a feature you're seeing down there. You have central vac also, and you can kind of see the vacuum right there. Again, also usable inside. And you got a little electric outlet there. But you can use that central vac to also uh, vacuum out your storage compartment area. And you can kind of see up in here, aluminum tube framing, all that type of stuff up there. And it's a nice feature on the Cedar Creek. It is a fully aluminum studded uh, wall, roof, and floor compared to a lot of brands that try to save a few bucks and they go to a wood floor stud or a wood roof stud to try and save a couple dollars. Uh, the nice thing I really like on the aluminum tube framing, especially in the roof, uh, most of the time, if an RV does leak, it usually starts somewhere in the roof. And if you don't catch it in time, those wood studs rot, hold mildew, mold, things like that, where the aluminum tubing doesn't rot out. So I definitely like that feature on having aluminum roof studs compared to wood. Um, another feature that was ordered on this customer's coach was the Tully awning. This is a second optional awning here. And basically you push a button, it goes in and out, has a wind sensor on it, LED uh, light strip built into the end of it, but it is attached to the side of the slide out and comes out a little bit further than the traditional awning. Now he also chose to do the slide out awning covers you can kind of see up there. So when his awnings and stuff are in, his rooms are still protected nicely. And that helps with leaves, twigs, debris, those type of things, and just kind of helps shed away water. Uh, another nice feature that I really like on the Cedar Creek product is the large storage compartment. If you don't do that big outside entertainment, you get a really good size storage compartment also there that you're seeing. But I really like the fact that when they do that drop Z frame, which a lot of high-end products do, Cedar Creek actually brings that metal down, though, to meet that frame and hide it. A lot of brands don't. They use a cheaper metal skirting there, and all you see is all that metal I-beam framing. And in all truthfulness, most of the time after a couple winters, or sometimes even after one winter, those I-beams kind of get a little cruddy looking and rusty looking and things from road salt and debris, things like that. So it's kind of nice that it's enclosed a little bit better and finished off a little bit better. Just going to make the RV look nicer longer. Um, you have aluminum wheels, 
Uh, Dexter Easy Flex Suspension. You also have the Dexter Never Adjust Brakes. Uh, you got, again, your uh, step going in and out, comes down, touches the ground, large folding entry handle there. Customer chose to order this thing with the dual pane windows. So that is two layers of glass instead of one. The single frameless windows are standard on the coach. Just gives a little nicer, uh, good looking, clean look to it. But if you do the dual panes, it helps a little bit with sound deadening, helps a little bit with uh, insulation property, condensation, things like that in the colder weather. Um, on the back here, you have your ladder going up and down, the rear camera also. And they do a two inch little receiver on the back of the coach now. So you can put a bike rack or something like that on the back of it if you want. Going on around to this side here, you can see slide toppers again on this side. Uh, again, if you don't like those features, you do not have to order them on there. Spare tire is mounted down along the bottom. It's fully enclosed underbelly with uh, 4x8 sectional panels. So it's much easier to work on than a one-piece underbelly. Um, so that is more service-friendly. just makes it a little easier for the service department and doesn't cost you as much labor to get in and out of something like that as quickly. Underneath the slide is also the area for your freshwater tank drain and your low-point uh, on-off valve for your ice maker. Your dump area located right here. Detachable 50 amp power cord right there. Gas electric water heater. Now you can do the on demand water heater or you can do the gas electric tanked water heater depending on what you like. Docking station located right there has uh, slide uh, hydraulic on off valves for your rooms. Has your water heater bypass. Um, all kinds of little features in here as far as cables, satellite hookups, gray galley black handles there, outside utility showers. Uh, there's a power cord reel on the left-hand side there. You push a button, roll your power cord in and out. Room here for your inverter, a couple batteries and stuff to go right here. Low point water drain down below. And you can also see here on your stickers, your basic information uh, that'll pop up here. Um, two 7,000 pound axles. You have a gross weight, which is axle weight and hitch weight combined, 16,190. And again, ST 235 85 R 16G range tires, 110 PSI. Definitely like the G range tire over the F range tire that you'll find on some of these brands. Um, just a little extra ply, heavier duty. And over here, you have the dry weight, 12,625 pounds. Customer chose to order this with the upgraded Trail Air hitch pin box, which does help with some of the uh, ride uh, bounce up and down and chucking and stuff like that. So that's definitely a nice feature if you're considering that. Also in the lower section, this is normally just a storage compartment, but they chose to do theirs with the generator prep. He plans on putting them a generator in here with a gasoline tank and stuff like that. So he ordered it prepped. Uh, you can order this uh, with a Onan 5500 watt generator from the RV factory. However, they only do the propane version. They do not do the gasoline version. So if you want to do a gas version, uh, you would have to do that as an aftermarket feature. Again, guys, thanks for checking us out. Uh, be sure to look up couchesrvnation.com, one of the largest internet wholesale dealers in the country. They will definitely save you a lot of money on a new RV.